Hi, friends. How are you today? I have my little friend Turtle, who's with me today. And you know about turtles, how they have this wonderful shell, and they can go inside and be by themselves, which they like a lot. What about if you're born a turtle and you have no shell? That would be very sad. That's what the story is about today, about a little turtle who had no shell. So before we get to the story, let's get warmed up and ready to listen. Remember the, the little song about, I had a little turtle and he lived in a box. He swam in a puddle and he climbed down the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow and he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow, but he can't catch me. No way. Here is the story, The Box Turtle by Vanessa Roeder. And look who his friend in. His friend is a little, do you know what that is? We've read a story about him before. He is a little snail, right? And he has a shell. And here is Turtle. Hmm, does this look like a regular shell? You'll see about that in just a minute, what he has on his back. Let's see that. The box turtle. And you'll see all kinds of things that he discovers in his travels. Wow, those are very interesting things, aren't they? He's looking for a shell. <gasps> Look what happens. The box turtle, here he is coming out of his egg. He's so excited. His daddy and mommy are watching. <gasps> How exciting. Yeah, turtles lay eggs and they crack open. The turtle comes out, he's so little. When the little box turtle hatched, his parents noticed something missing. Hmm, but they weren't dismayed. They gave him a name and a shell, both of which fit just right. Now remember, Terrence, you are so more, much more than just a shell. So what did they give him since he didn't wasn't born with a shell? Do you remember? Can you see what that is? That's right. It's a hat. He gave him a hat to wear as a shell. Terrence's shell kept him dry on the soggiest days when he's out near the water. Safe from the snoopiest strangers. Oh, who's coming to be a friend of his? And on the scariest nights, he could hide under his hat, couldn't he? Just like a shell. It was big enough to share. Terrence loved his shell. Look who's under here, his friend, right? Until one day, as he was coming, going along and seeing other turtles, they said, your shell is weird. Oh. Suddenly, Terence's shell seemed too boring, too bizarre, and too big for the little box turtle to bear. So he abandoned it to search for something better. Abandoned means you leave it. Just take it off and leave it somewhere. <gasps> Look who picked it up. Hmm. Mr. Raccoon's going to do something with it. Terrence searched high and low. Remember, he's looking for a new shell. Oh, his new shell looks sleek. What did he choose for his new shell? A mailbox. Isn't that fun? Eek! But it showed too much cheek. What's the mail carrier doing? Hey, I've got to deliver mail there. You can't use that as a shell. The search continued. He looked classy. He looked sassy. He looked just like, what did he use next? Can you see that? It's 
It's a pot, a flower pot. Grandma Mildred? He looked for another shell. Eh, he didn't like that. And look who's coming along. The raccoon's getting his leftover things. Oh, yeah, he found it. A perfect polka dotty package. Ooh, what do you think that is that he found? And it's got a little turning, a turning, turning thing on the side. Hmm, let's see what happens. Whoa, pop! That was positively petrifying. Do you think he could use that for his shell every day? <gasps> That scared everyone. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Terrence tried shell after shell. A boom box and a lunch box. Oh, another flower pot. Oh, and a treasure box. Can you see the treasure box? The pirates are yelling at him. Oh, but nothing fits. So these are all the different shells. Oh, my. Will Terrence find his new shell? This whole situ situation stunk. A lot. What was the shell that he found here? He found a kitty litter box. And the kitty was still in it. Ah! That's it. I give up. Oh. And look who's offering his shell. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Little snail is offering him that shell. Oh, wow. In the moment, the hermit crab showed what it meant to be a friend. Oh, so it really wasn't a snail. It was a hermit crab. But do you think that, think that fits? It's got the same kind of shell as a snail. Is that going to fit Mr. Turtle, Terrence? No, it's too small. The little crustacean, crustacean is what is what you call um, the kind of sea life like this, a crustacean, was so much more than just a shell. And maybe Terrence was too. Terrence knew what he needed think Terrence is going to do? Remember, he was looking for his shell. Hmm. But when he found his old shell, it had changed. Oh, no. Who had collected his old shell? Mm-hmm. Raccoon. Remember his first one was a hat? Hmm. That looked a little beat up, didn't he? Let's see what happens. It's okay. We can fix it, said Hermit Crab. Think they can fix it? Well, let's see. Terrence patched on soggy days. They're patching it up. And look at even Raccoon is helping to keep Turtle out of the rain by putting an umbrella over him. He toiled on chilly nights. Toiled means worked. He worked on chilly nights. So what is he trying to do? He's trying to patch up. Remember, look at all the holes and things in the hat. He's trying to make it better. And he's using it for his shell. The task grew big enough to share. Oh, look, they're all helping. Raccoon and hermit crab. And even other turtles are helping. Finally, the shell was finished. They patched it up and they painted it with stripes. Wow. What do you think about that shell? You think that's going to be a good one? Let's see. It wasn't sleek or sassy. It was far from perfect and definitely weird. But Terrence wasn't dismayed because the little box turtle... was so much more than just his shell. Oh, look at that. 
look at that. The end. This is his new shell. It's that hat all painted and fixed up. And look here. Oh. Even he had a new a new shell. And look at look at a new hat for a raccoon. And he had some red paw prints here, paint. Oh, that was a nice story. And here's all the things that he tried. Remember? The toys and the mailbox. Oh, and then the radio. That was a nice story. I like that, how everyone helped him. Even though he didn't have a shell, a shell he was still a good, a nice turtle. He was himself. Just because he didn't have a shell that was like everyone else's, he was still a friend to people and he was fun. You might see people who are different. They look different. They may be missing something. They may their their face may look different. They may be missing an arm or maybe they have no hair, but they're still a person inside. So think about that one more time. There was a little turtle. He lived in a box. He swam in a puddle. He climbed down the rocks. He snapped at a mosquito. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a minnow. And he snapped at me. He caught the mosquito. He caught the flea. He caught the minnow. But he didn't catch me. Bye, friends. See you next time.